All right, guys, um, so I wanna preface this video with saying that I filmed this video yesterday, um, and it was like a really easy, fun, quick video. The light was really good. It was like middle of the afternoon. And then I went this morning to edit it, and all I could hear was my kids screaming and fighting on the audio. So I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot put this up. So I'm gonna try this again. Hopefully it'll be better the second time because I will have, you know, so anyway, that is the backstory here. Um, so what we're gonna do is just a really quick, easy, like realistic five minute smoky brown eye, which kind of works for anyone and you can tweak the colors as needed. And then just like a quick face because I always find like most people don't have an hour to get ready in the morning or for wherever they need to go. I know I don't, I know that most people do not. And um, even if they did, that's probably not time that they want to spend getting ready. You know, if you have a family or you have work or you have like a workout or other things that call your attention. So um, you can still look really polished and really good and just not have to take a lot of time. Anyway, so let's start. I've, I'm all like moisturized and what I'm going to do is do a little bit of eye primer, which I always recommend using. I'm going to just use the Chanel one that I'm working on right now. Um, I had mentioned before, I don't really think it's like the best um, product in the world. I think I'm a big NARS Pro Prime and I also love the Urban Decay one, which is like almost like the original. I feel like they kind of came out with that primer potion before everybody else was doing it. So I'm gonna do the eyes. Should I do the eyes first? Yeah, let's do the eyes first. So we're gonna keep it like really, really simple. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this MAC paint pot. The color is called Groundwork. So for me being that I'm fair, it's sort of like a cool medium brown. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of like smudge that on my eyelid. And I like to use a ring finger because you probably heard it's the finger with like the least amount of pressure. And sometimes fingers are like the best tool and then you don't have to like wash brushes after. So if it's just yours, um, you can use a finger, obviously a clean finger, and then you can use a finger, obviously a clean finger, and then like if you're a makeup artist or something and you're gonna use your fingers, which in some areas is okay, um, you would scrape some out with a spatula. But um, just you wanna make sure you cap these up really well. They're great products, but I find that you get so much in these tubs, like so much, that it'll probably dry out before you're able to use it up. Um, all right, so you've got like a little, sort of like the makings of a smoky eye. I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit. Zoom in a little bit. So you've got like the start of a smoky eye. Nothing else is on, so obviously it's gonna look a little weird. So I'm gonna go in with this brown eyeliner. This is, I believe the color is Whiskey, and this is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On. Um, can see it's kind of like a medium chocolatey brown. I'm also a big fan of Mac Teddy. Um, it's kind of like a nice warm brown. And then also Mac Costa Riche is another really nice one that works really well for this. But pretty much any brand will have something that you need and you probably already have it in your collection. I'm gonna take this, this brush, this is a Mac 239. It's just like a flat shader brush. And I'm gonna kind of go over that uh, eyeshadow. So what you're getting is like a little bit of a diffusion. I want most of the concentration of color at the lash line. And then that's kind of like what defines a smoky eye. It like starts concentrated and it smokes out. So we're starting to get it. And then I'll go in and I'll do like another layer. You can use black, you can use gray. You really can use like whatever color you find works. I uh, sometimes will use like reddish tones too because I find they work really nice on like hazel eyes. And then whatever's left on that brush, I'm just going to kind of like bring it down on the lower lash line. And before I forget, what I find with the lower lash line is that if you're planning to put mascara on, um, which I advocate putting lots of mascara on regardless of your age or your style, it just usually makes everybody look better. Um, 
when you're putting that mascara on the bottom lash line, it's going to add almost like an eyeliner effect because it's, it's making your lashes look thicker. So it's going to add that natural lining. So I always go really light on the lower lash line, especially if you're, you know, 35, 40 plus, you don't want anything too heavy on the bottom lash line because it's going to pull the eyes down. You want a little bit of definition, but you can always add more. So I always say err on the side of caution. And then once you get that mascara on, you'll know if you need to add more, but it's a lot easier to add than take away. So, okay, we're getting a little bit of smokiness and then I wanna bump it up a little bit. So I'm gonna go into this Urban Decay, a lot of Urban Decay today. Um, this is the Naked Basics. This is the second version, the Naked 2. And you get these like great little cool browns. I find this is also a really nice um, brow kit. Like these colors are really great for brows or like this one if you're a little darker because they're nice and cool. And most people, their brow color is a little cooler than their hair color. So even though I have like red in my hair, um, my brows are pretty ashy as you can see. So I'll use something a little cooler to define them. Anyway, that's another story. So um, let me get, let's get just like a nice, I'm gonna use this kind of flat slanty shader brush you can see. This is another Delium Tools one. And I'm gonna go in with these kind of like medium browns. They look light, but because I'm fair, I find like a little darkness goes further than you would think. And I'm just going to kind of like blend that liner into the paint pot that I have. So you're starting to get this like, okay, it's kind of smoothing out. I find powders smoothing over creams um, can look really nice and like soften them up and make them last a bit longer or a lot longer even. And I'm gonna kind of do a little extra at the outer V here and like blend it all in, but really simple, like no special uh, skills are required at all. And then just to kind of finish this and like make it look a little more polished, I'm gonna go in with this color, which is kind of like a matte skin color for me, maybe a little bit darker. And I'm gonna go above where I put the color. So now it's just gonna like soften the landing, like make it really smooth and diffused. I haven't done my brows, but once I do that, it's going to look 10 times better. So speaking of brows, let's finish kind of this eye and then I'll go back to the other eye and we'll like bring it home. So I'm just gonna like frame my eye. My brows are pretty sparse. They always have been, it's not only age. Uh, they just always were really thin. And that's okay. We're just gonna fill them in a little bit. And then what I'll do, like I was talking about before, is I'm gonna go in with this um, palette and I'm gonna mix a couple of these colors together and uh, go over the pencil with a little eyeshadow. If you have brow powder, great, but you don't need to go and get it. You can probably just use an eyeshadow color that you already have. And that'll just kind of like set it and then I also find it makes it look a little bit more natural. All right, so there we are. I'm gonna go and finish this side and then I'll be right back. Okay, so both eyes are pretty much done. It doesn't look like much yet because I haven't done the rest of the face. So let's talk about that right now. So I'm nice and moisturized and what I'm gonna do is something that I've been doing lately for like my foundation and I like it. So this is the Chanel Tan de Chanel, Soleil Tan de Chanel, yes. And it's like this cream bronzer. It's very warm. So it doesn't necessarily work for contouring, but I've been using it lately and I've been kind of like bronzing up my winter skin and I'm really liking it. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the product. It's like a cream kind of gel. It's not greasy at all. And I'm gonna kind of like put it on the high points of my face, like forehead, bridge, and nose, stuff like that. Now, before you're like, oh my God, that's so orange, because it is, I wouldn't leave it like this. Um, I am going to take a foundation and I am gonna kind of like blend that over it. So let's go ahead and use, yeah, let's use this one. This is the L'Oreal Infallible, Infallible Pro Glow. You can use like any combination that you like. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of that on the back of my hand. I found out about this foundation though. I like it, but I was like, gosh, it smells like alcohol. And sure enough, there's alcohol in it. So I don't think I'll be repurchasing it for that reason. That's kind of disappointing because I don't want to put alcohol on my skin. And I'm going to kind of like go over the foundation or the bronzer, I should say, and kind of blend it in, but like also keep a little bit of that separation. So I find with this Soleil Tan de Chanel in the winter, 
I really can't use it um, over foundation. It's just too orange. But something about using it under foundation works really nicely. And this foundation, it's like a, it's a glowy, kind of sheer foundation. I'm about to go teach class anyway, so I'm gonna have to wash all this stuff off uh, in a couple of hours, but that's okay. It'll be another opportunity to do some more makeup later. But quick makeup. I'm gonna like push it into the hairline. I'm just like pretending I'm tan right now. I'm never tan, not even in the summer. Not on my face anyway. Okay, so we're blending it all in. We're gonna let that kind of like set, but automatically I feel like the eyes look a little better when we have a little bit of something on the face. What I'm gonna do before I move on is I'm gonna just put a little bit of powder under the eyes. Uh, we'll just use a little powder. This is just a little bit of the Maybelline Fit Me. This is in the color Fair. So for me, it's good under the eyes and that's really all I'm gonna do right now. So that way when I like shade and all that stuff under the eyes, it, it doesn't get like sticky. You have like a nice powder kind of finish. And I think that I want to like make the smoky eye a little bit darker. So now I'm going to use a black, not a lot of black. What I'm going to do is just like lift my eye and I'm going to get right into the root, like underneath the lash line. We call this tight lining. And then that is going to give you just like a little more of something without doing like a black line. Like I just did in the lashes. That's really all I did, but it looks like almost like I did a line because it's just made my lashes look really thick. And then I'll go in and I'll kind of like smudge it. Yeah, I'm gonna smudge it. So you've just got like a little more smoke going on right now. See? So I don't use a lot of black on myself because I find that it can be a little too harsh actually because I'm fair skinned, even though my hair is dark, my skin is fair. So I always find like, it just almost looks like too goth. Like it's rare that black looks good. So when I do use black, I'm like very careful and sparing with it. Whereas like if you're, you know, if you have like a medium skin tone or like you're blonde and blue eyed and you have like a golden undertone, black might not be too much, but I'm sort of like a, just a really fair skin tone um so i have to be careful so you'd kind of just have to like tailor it to your own needs and preferences let's blend all this in i'm going to take it down my neck because my face is totally more tan than my neck right now in the monitor because i have a light on me it looks a little more pale but i kind of like having a little bit of tan it's not bad I'm just going to use a tiny bit of concealer now. I'm going to go for something sheer rather than like a tart shape tape. We'll take a little bit of this Maybelline. This is the Fit Me. I love the Maybelline Fit Me line. Well, at least the powder is wonderful. And this is like the third tube probably of this concealer that I've used, which I'll tell you, you go, you'll go through it fast. Like I'll use like a tart shape tape and it just like goes forever. Um, I haven't had to replace, I've probably got like four tubes of that in like different shades for my kit and I haven't replaced it, but like a Maybelline Fit Me, you will definitely replace it more. So even though it's like a $7 or like $6 concealer, like you're going to buy it more often. Um, and it's sheer, so I don't want like full coverage now, I just wanted like a little bit of light under my eyes. And then lightly, I'm gonna powder the rest of my face. So I'm just taking a little bit of powder and I'm kind of like knocking off the extra in the cap. And I'm just gonna like dust that over. And then we'll take a blush. How about, how about actually we'll use, I've got like a couple favorites right now. This palette is so pretty, I think. And I'm gonna kind of just like blend them all together. Actually, I'm gonna take these four and kind of mix them all together. This is a little deeper. This is a little too like cool pink for me. So I'm gonna use these four and just like liberally put them high on the cheekbone. And a couple of these shades have some shimmer. So you're gonna get like a little bit of highlight. Need a little more color. And if you ever feel like your blush is not picking up on the brush, Go for something smaller like this one, and it's um it definitely like picks up the color a little more. So now I'm gonna like zero in on these two center colors, and I'm gonna 
put them up there. I'm going kind of high, not too high, but I want to bring my face up. I don't want to bring it down because like below the mouth, I feel like I look older. <laughs> so I'm trying to like bring the attention up, not like a stripe, but kind of like cheeks and higher. Mm -hmm. And then I always take like whatever's left and I just like go over the crease of the eye. I don't know why, it just tends to like pull it all together. I don't know, something told me to do it and I like it. All right, so if I wasn't talking, you know this is gonna go like way faster. Um, now we just need some mascara, obviously, and a lip. So let's just make sure I didn't mess up my brows too much. Curl the crap out of your lashes. Give them a good curl. And then we're gonna use lots of this mascara. This is gonna be superhero. This is the thing about mascara. I think that people think sometimes like one, two, three, why are my lashes not looking thick? Because you have to spend more than one, two, three on them. Take your mascara, you know, knock off the excess and then keep combing like 50 times maybe, let's count. All right, so mascara on, which like instantly changes everything. I'll zoom you in a little bit so you can kind of see. Um, to be honest, the superhero mascara, I like it at first, but it dries out in the tube pretty quickly, and then it starts getting a little clumpy. Um, but the thing is, I've probably had it at least six weeks, so it might just be telling me it's time to go. Let's do something really easy and natural um, on the lips. Let's go with Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, super easy. No big deal there. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of Max Strip Down and I'm just gonna like add a little definition. This is a little cooler than would probably go with the uh, Charlotte Tilbury, but I wanted to cool it down. And that's really all I do. I could probably go a little darker, so I'm gonna put this. This is Spice Lip Gloss by MAC. And that'll give me like a little more color. So let's zoom out and see how we're doing. I think this is pretty good, everyday, easy kind of makeup. I'm just gonna like press a sponge with like a tiny bit of powder just over, cause I want everything to look like really blended and good. And then last but not least, I'm gonna take a little bit of MAC Fix Plus. Boom. Oh, it smells so good. I use way more than I need to, but it smells so good. So anyway, that is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. I hope that it's something that you would realistically do because I do think that anybody can do this. I don't think that you need any special skills or anything like that. Um, anyway, if you have any quick tricks, put them in the comments below. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.